So moving to the next question. That is your okay. So next chapter, uh, aldehyde and ketones is completed in your class. Yes, sir. Okay, let other students join. We will discuss about which chapter is uh, we are going to start in the next ones. Please do this. Any answer for question number 66? Shahid. Yes, Sir, so, uh, this question I don't know. Our second question is uh, vinylic. So, the second question is allylic carbon. Allylic, that is good. Uh, what about 66? 66, uh, you are not able to do. Okay, see. If you are going to react with AgNO3, you know, you have to. Uh, remove this BR. If you are going to remove BR, CH plus will be there. If you are going to remove BR, there will be plus carbocation. If you are going to remove, there will be carbocation. If you are going to remove, there will be phenyl cation. So positive charge on double bond. See, it will be in resonance. It will be stable. It will be in resonance plus uh, plus I effect is there. So it will be stable. This is also getting plus I effect. It will be also stable. But Positive charge on double bond is very, very highly unstable. So will not give precipitate. That is the this one. Is that clear? Yes. Very good. Please do this first. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, please. Please do the six tape.
there is option A. Very good. So this is the correct option. You can see this is your, I think, Lucas reagent, right? CO2, Br2, that comes to Sandmeyer's reaction. And then for this alcoholic alimination reaction, and for this it is Finkelstein reaction. Option A is the correct answer. Hmm, this is a good question. It might look tough, but it is very easy. This reagent, do you know? Do you remember this reagent? And this reagent will react with each other. What will be uh, well, it, what it will give you? So, my dear. Halogenation. Have you studied that halogenation? This is a basically electrophilic substitution reaction. So yes, this sir. will generate Br positive. That means electrophile. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So this electrophile will be attacking on that side where electron rich species are there, right? Yes. Sir. Now you have two ring, right hand side, left hand side. But this C double bond O is in conjugation with this ring. And this is a minus n. That means it will withdraw electron from the ring. So there will be electron density decreasing. Yes or no? Electron density yes. is decreasing due to the this electron withdrawing group. But here it is not like that. Are you getting my point? Yes. So what will happen? <clears throat> you can see this Br plus can either come at ortho or para. At which position it will be more stable? Para. So what will be the answer? This is the first option in which we are attacked on the left hand side, which is wrong because this ring is having electron deficient and here you can see. So the correct option is this second. Isn't it easy? Very simple electrophilic yes. substitution reaction. So why not in the other benzene ring? Because the other, the yeah, because uh, see BR is what? BR is positive electrophile. It wants to get to that side where electron rich species are there. where electron rich site is there so if you are going to see this is electron withdrawing group so this uh, you know that it will either attack on ortho or para right so if it will be like this and c double bond o is there so this will attack it will be like this so there will be positive then it will come like this there will be yes, positive sir. then it will become like there will be positive so on the left hand side it can only attack on meta because meta is not having at least positive charge neither negative neither positive uh, neither positive but on the right hand side, if you are going to see, it will be like this. So there is nothing like this. Now electron density will be there. So it will attack on this side. Okay. So that is a para position. That is? Uh, it will attack on the para position. Right. The yes, para position. Right hand. See, uh, we always uh, show the measure product. So if it is going to attack on ortho, there will be repulsion right so it will be yes. stable on para yes 
Can I change the slide? Yes. Please do this. Sir, option uh, two. No, oh, that's good. Nucleophilic substitution reaction, aromatic nucleophilic. So nucleophile wants to attack the increasing order of the rate of towards nucleophilic aromatic nucleophile. So the correct option is two because there will be less the electron density will be lowest in this and then this and then this. And if a nucleophile wants to attack, so it will attack on that side where less number of electron will be there. Please do this. Let me know when you're done with this. So option A. Option A, that's good. No, very easy. Please do this.
Uh, antiseptic is a medicine that uh, that is a cream basically that we use uh, when it's cut in our hand or something like that. Okay, from becoming infected, it saves us. So these are uses that you should take care. <clears throat> Oh, that is good side for question number 73 it's correct and 72 is also correct side so always why you joined so late Okay. Or oh, let me know, Savage, when you are done with question number 72 and 73. So the usage of polyhalogen compound is there. Yes. What is the problem with the usage of poly, uh, polyhalogen compound? So this I'm going to take the answer. This is the so Cl4 released into atmospheric depletes the ozone layer. That is correct. CHI3 we use as at as antiseptic. So this is the correct. Both A and R are correct, but R is not region is not the correct explanation of A. For 73, aryl halides undergo nucleophilic substitution with each that is incorrect. There are three regions or you can say double bond character uh, difference in hybridization as well as phenyl cation in, uh, instability of phenyl cation. So incorrect it is carbon halogen bond in aryl halide has double bond character. Yes, it is. So this will be the answer. Can I change the slide? So always Yes or no? Are you done with this? Please do respond. Are you done with this? Please do let me know if there are any problem in this. So, always which chapter uh, aldehyde ketones are completed in your syllabus in your regular class? Yes or no? Shahid. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Let me know, Shahid, if you have any doubt in this. Very good, Shahid. You have got the right answer for question number 74. Shahid, why are you not responding at all? No, it's uh, wrong. It is not allylic halide. The thylidine chloride has a structure. It is a common name, which has a structure CH3CHCl2. So the answer will be gem dihalide. This is a common name. So common name, some of the common name you have to remember. Is that clear? Yes. Any answer for question number 76, Shahid? No, sir. Okay, are you not able to solve this? Yes, I am.
do you know esterification in class 10th you have studied yes or no when carboxylic acid react with alcohol in class 10th we had given ethanoic acid and ethanol react to form ester that process is called esterification do you remember shahid yes sir so what will happen here hydrogen h plus since it is acid so it will release h plus and yes yeah. oxygen will have negative yes Wait a second second yeah it is it is the correct answer wait a minute let me show you so this will be like this this will be negative or oh, sorry positive and this will be negative this will be negative this will be positive so this directly will be attacking on this this will oh will be and this will form h2 will also do this is that clear shahid yes sir okay for 77 c4h8o2 is ester that is given you are going to react with CS3, MGBR, XS, H2O, and HCl. Then you are getting alcohol. Alcohol Y gives Lucas test immediately. Thus, X and Y are respectively. You need to tell me which type of X it is and which type of Y it is. Uh, if you remember, Lucas test is given by immediately by tertiary carbon. So uh, three degrees immediately. Uh, three degree. Yeah, three degree alcohol. So I think uh, three degree alcohol that is given in this and this. Okay, but we have only four carbon. So only for three, three, and then four carbon is here. But if you are going to check this, three to the six, six, seven carbon. So this will be the correct answer, isn't it? You can do questions like this as well, right? If you know the concept, you can easily. Uh, eliminate the option and get the right answer. Are you getting my point, both of you? Uh, sir, why not uh, option three? Why option? See, what I told you. Uh, what is the number of carbon present in alcohol? Four? Yes or no? Yes, sir. And what is the number of alcohol that will uh, you will get here? Total number of alcohol. See, two carbon and thrice. That means six carbon it becomes, and there is one more carbon. Total carbon will it will it will be what? Seven carbon. Yes. So how it can be seven carbon when you in the product you are uh, seeing four carbon only? Yes. So this is the reason. Can I move to the next question? Oh, please do this. Question number 78.
4 is the wrong answer. See, here it is alkene. And here it is ketone. And you can see alkene is also reduced. And ketone is also reduced. <clears throat> so LiLH4 easily reduce aldehyde and ketone to corresponding alcohol. That means aldehyde will be 1 degree alcohol and ketone will be 2 degree alcohol. Okay, ketone will be 2 degree alcohol from this, but LiLH4 cannot, it cannot reduce alkene. NaBH4 can reduce only aldehyde and ketone, not double bond. That means only one left, hydrogen can easily reduce this. Hydrogen can easily reduce double bond. And as well as this, one bond will be broken. Hydrogen will be added here. Hydrogen will be added here. So the correct option is short. Is that clear, both of you? Please tell me, is that clear? OK. Shahid, can I change the slide? Okay, wait. Both of you done with this. Shahid, are you done with this? Chavez. On the right hand side, I have given the option as well. Please do this.
Very good, Shai. You got the right answer. What about you, Chavez? Chavez, are you there? Option one is not the correct answer. See, uh, this is your alkene and reacting with acid. That is a preparation of alcohol. Alkene hydration. So it will directly go into this. This bond will be broken. OH minus will go there. So it will be. A will go with S. Concentrated HNO3. It will form picric acid, so it will be picric acid. CH3MGBR, when you are going to react ketone, you will get tertiary alcohol, so this will be Q. And CO plus 2H2, what it will form? Very simple. This is a industrial use of alcohol, that is CH3OH2R. So what is the answer? A to S, B to P, C to Q, and D to R, so the answer is 2. Can you change the slide? Okay, moving to the next question. This Okay, please do this question. This is the last question today in the next class. I will extend some of minutes. Few minutes, okay. So after doing this question, you may leave. Uh, Shahid, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, so question number 80 that you got is answer 2. So this is your CH3Cl2 and a hydrocell Cl3. Have you heard of uh, Friedel-Craft alkylation? Yes. So Friedel-Craft alkylation will take place. So positive can be here, here and here at anywhere. So you know Secondary carbon is more stable, so tertiary will be here. So this tertiary will be attacking on the benzene ring, and you will get like this. 
Yes or no? Yes, sir. So after this, if you have if you remember preparation of phenol, preparation of phenol from cumin. Do you remember now? I give you a hint. Yes, sir. So you are going to treat this with O2. You are going to treat this with O2. What will happen? This is the scenario. See CH3 twice and yeah, between C and OH, they, there will be like this. And after treating with hydrolysis, what will happen? This part will be converted into ketone and this OH will be coming here and it becomes phenol. Is that clear? Yes, okay. Okay, so in the next class, you are going to revise aldehyde and ketones only, not carboxylic acids. Do complete aldehyde and ketones. We are going to discuss about this. Okay, uh, Shavez, especially you.